JC here, JC, Kate and Goose. I'm just here to share with you our 2014 Ram Promaster. This is a 3500 extended with the two and a half extra feet in the back. Um, it's on a 159 wheelbase, 3.6 liter, 280 horsepower. It's a gas drive train. Uh, front wheel drive, two wheel drive in the front with a fixed axle in the back. This has about a 9,200 pound capacity. Uh, we're going to give you a quick walkthrough today. And so we'll start with a quick walkthrough of the outside of the vehicle, check out a few things in the engine cab, show you a few work, a little bit of work that we've done on the suspension, um, and then kind of take you from there to the interior of the van. First thing, might as well start with the entryway. We have this awning that we have here set up. Hot day in Arizona, we're pushing about 95 degrees today. Keep us out of the shade, keep the dogs nice and cool. Pretty small engine bay right here in the front. A um, little bit of tight, a little bit tight on access, but everything that we do on the road, we do ourselves. Oil change, transmission fluid, fluid changes included. You have brake fluid in here, coolant fluid in here. Down in here we have the oil filter canister, power steering, and you have your windshield washer fluid. In here we have the air intake filter. Uh, this whole system and filter included came new with the van uh, we purchased that and we do shake it out from time to time to keep it clean so we have hankook dynapro at2 tires on all four tires these are about a year old now they are all terrain um, and they still have plenty of tread we'll try and get a zoom in on that the front tires have all brand new uh, brakes and calipers the rotors are in great condition we have another video that we're going to be posting kind of showing all that we've upgraded the stock suspension to the Bilstein B6 front struts and rear springs. I'll show you those in the rear, um, but the ride is completely changed, so this thing's ready to roll. Uh, we do a lot of boondocking, we're off grid a lot, so the ride's a lot more comfortable now with the suspension upgrade and especially with the new brakes out here uh, on the west coast with the elevation and the hill changing. Nice view that we'll show you from the inside later. That window was added by us. We have a few bunk windows. As we sneak on down, kind of underneath the chassis here, we have added a 2,000 pound leveling helper spring. Um, this is just because a lot of the weight in our van is kind of centered towards this rear axle. So to kind of counterbalance that and make sure that we're not producing any sag in the rear um, and, and hindering the front wheel drive, we've added this just for some relief. Um, and when we zoom out in a little bit, we'll show you that we're still riding with great space between the hub and the tire itself. Um, back there, you can also see that we've added the Bilstein springs in the back. Um, depending on our camera angles, you can see there's minimal to no rust on this vehicle. The whole chassis is in, in great condition, um, very strong, and all the previous holes from the original subfloor have been sealed and coated, so they won't rust or damage or hinder. We have our gray tank, 25 gallon gray tank. It does hang above the fixed axle and the exhaust so you have plenty of clearance on that when driving down these roads like i told you when we zoom out we're still working with plenty of clearance here um, we have 50 gallons of, of fresh water uh, sitting right on this axle so very heavy um, but you know with that extra added suspension we're sitting pretty good we have our 30 amp shore power connection which is plugged in wired in through inside into the inverter um, we'll show you that when we get there but we do have an Ames 2500 watt pure sign inverter um, and it is a battery charger as well uh, this is our main storage area here in the back we do have the trailer hitch fixed on into the vehicle um, this isn't everything that we normally travel with a lot of that we have set up outside in the front as you saw but it all fits right here plenty of storage as I move the backpacks you'll see that we have a few bins for our craft goods storage here um, if I slide these out of the way the electrical system down here in the back we'll take another look at that from another angle shortly um, but we have a 175 amp hour battery that's a single lithium battery right there the unit sits about 11 inches by 7 doesn't take up any space um, awesome system awesome unit our pure sign inverter to the left um, and everything is wired in as far as anything 120 volt or stronger is wired in with the proper paneling, uh, fuse paneling. So we do have a full propane set up here. We have the regular tank. We built this locker. This is a sealed locker. It does vent outside of the van. We have it under lock and key all the time. We'll open it up. Show you guys a glimpse of what we have going on in here. This 
is a gas powered solenoid. So we have a safety switch inside the VIN next to the stove that will regulate and shut off the propane coming from the actual tank. Just a nice added extra safety feature. Um, you know, turn it on when you need it, shut it off when you don't. Right here, what we have is an auxiliary tap into the, the tank itself. So if you do like to do some outside cooking, maybe host a few friends and you have a spare Coleman, we do carry around a 12 foot hose to connect here so we can cook outside and not always be stuck uh, inside, especially as the temperatures build up in the summer. And right over here, I mean, we have our water pump and, and water system. We'll show you in a bit from the front side, but this is where our 50 gallon water tank is stored. We still have plenty of storage back there. We have, uh, you know, day camping bags back there, our, our tents um, and our pack sacks. Got a light for the back, just in case you need it at night if you're working on anything. So yeah, we'll bring you in through the front here, guys, as we step in. I'm sure some of you guys have checked out the other video that we have online, but we wanted to kind of just give you a uh, full walkthrough on how everything works. Enjoy your time here in the swivel seat that we've installed, passenger side only. Um, it's a great space to kind of, especially for couples, um, give you a little bit extra room to, to sit while you're waiting for your coffee or you're cooking, not feeling like you're crammed in the back um, or incapable of passing to the outside. Right over here. We have our fridge. It is on a lock system in here, but currently it's unlocked. It slides out. We have the Iceco VL series. It's a 65 quart dual zone. We have fridge and freezer. And these are interchangeable and it is possible to make these both fridge zones depending on how you travel um, we chose to do freezer on the smaller side and, and fridge on the bigger but again they are interchangeable and we have had our thoughts of doing just a full fridge um, but the freezer is always nice to have rolls in very smooth locks in place comes out very smooth we have it strapped down for added security on each side as we get down to these boondock roads and the washboard. Um, but you know, we designed this whole area for, for ease of access. We go to cook, we grab, and we have this workstation all right here to kind of get things prepped and then move on over to the stove. We have this window we've installed. We also have storage on the back end of the, of the uh, counter space itself. This is all butcher block countertop, stained and treated. It's held up very well for us on the road so far. Up top here, we've, we've implemented uh, this cane design um, from, a, from a mom and pop shop uh, out of Portland, Maine. Thank you to them, able to cane. Um, we did the install just to give a little bit of a different look, let everything breathe, especially the fridge, the food, but you got plenty of storage up top for your food and your goods. You don't have to worry about anything falling out. We've installed uh, these clips. These clips have 10 pounds of resistance uh, just to open them. So it's not much on the hand. You'll feel it, it's a good tug, but they've never opened up on the roads on us. We've never had anything fall out and they're installed everywhere from the fridge. Um, even down below, here, we have our great pantry. So you can see quite a bit of room. Uh, we'll slide right back in. Located right next to the cooking center, we have our trash. We have our stove top and oven. We have three burner oven. Underneath here we have more storage for pots and pans. Full size cabinet. We have our switch here as I stated. This last one here is the safety switch to the propane tank. Blue is on. So if we come right over, we get a good light, nice strong flame, good system. Shut her off, say I leave her on. As long as I kill that switch, she'll bleed out the rest of the propane in the line over time. And at least now we've built a safer area for cooking. We also have our water pump on this same panel right here. This third one in. I'm going to close and open. This one is connected to the gray tank. It's also a ball valve system. So when you are at the uh, dump station, you hook your hose up, press the button, and the gray tank will release itself automatically. Uh, you don't have to get down there and get too dirty. First switch here handles the lights. And the second switch in here controls our Wobasto heating module. Uh, we'll turn over soon, but this is the control panel. And then over here, 
we've installed the full Wabasto system underneath the seat. Uh, for those that don't know about the Wabasto system, very efficient system. Uh, it consumes about one gallon of gasoline over 22 hours of full heating and there's not much space in here so that does a lot. More storage. Um, we do carry around a few things just to give you an idea of the power of the inverter, the 2500 watt pure sign inverter. We're able to run a blender off that system. Uh, we also use a pressure cooker from time to time. Um, you know, as long as we use it at the right time during the day with the 170 uh, amp hour bank that we have, we're pretty good on power. Um, going back to power just to start, uh, it was in the ad, but we do have 400 watts of solar on the roof and then we also have a key line battery to battery charger system. So for the most part, we're able to stay off grid for ample time um, as long as we keep things clear and we're able to get solar up top. Uh, we haven't had really any issues um, except for in colder areas, obviously, where the sun's not out or as high during certain days. But, you know, as long as we're driving or we're using the solar to charge, we're doing pretty good. And we're able to use those heavier equipments without uh, risking losing battery. As we go in here, we have another smaller pantry, three drawer system. They're all soft clothes. Get some more storage. As you can see, they all go back in, very clean. Try and sneak away here. So down here is a little storage as well. We have the paper towel hanger. This is our on-demand hot water heater. Uh, it's a ventless system, so it is safe to be inside the van, and it runs actually off of D-bolt batteries. So when the water, when it senses the water running through, the D-bolt batteries ignite the um, the igniter and then we have hot water pretty much on demand i mean it takes about a few seconds there's not that long of uh, water lines here uh, try and see if i can give you a little example on time so the water's running through you can hear it kind of kicking on it's heating up and we are hot Shifting over to right here while the lights are on we do have the dimmer switch for the lights kind of tone them down and bring it up and the cool thing about this is once you are already in bed if you've left the main light switch on over here on the rocker panel you are able to then shut the lights off over here off the dimmer switch and turn them back on so you don't have to feel the need to get right back up and um, and turn those on pretty efficient system and what that allows us to do is from time to time it allows us to use the shower that we have built and installed. Good water pressure, nice hot water. Tiling is held up great on the road, no issues with that, uh, no leaks, and it's fairly easy to tell if there's a leak in these Pearlmasters, as anything that we've installed underneath will drain right to the channels that will exit the van through the back. So if you did have a major leak in here, it'd be pretty easy to tell. The water would be removing itself through what was pre-built to, uh, to remove it. So we've installed down here a nice little uh, cedar pan to just kind of keep your feet away off the pan. I know not many people have or have seen. We got a full size mirror in here. A little cupboard there, more storage space, a little pantry. Um, keep the cosmetics away, any medication. Just have it close on hand instead of needing to kind of dig through some bags that are hidden during any emergency. So that's been a good space saver. And like I said, it's allowed us to kind of keep everything we need. So this is the 50 gallon water tank as you can see uh, we've left this kind of open just for view and access uh, we do have a sensor in here um, that we can tell where the water is at but when filling we do kind of like to just keep a good eye on it this is also doubled has more storage underneath here on the sides if you ever were to be in an emergency we've tried to make this van i mean as user friendly as possible um, so there is access to this water tank there are four screws for a safety precaution through the floor that we've installed. Um, so I can lift this floor out and there is a cap that's on the water tank in case there was any uh, fear of contamination or if there was a, a, a need to clean that thing out. Um, we do have an emergency access to that. Um, so it is implemented in there. 
This is our sleeping quarters. Um, right now it's set up into the dinette mode. Um, pretty easy system to kind of break down. Once we get through a few areas here, I'll show you just quickly how we break it down and, and get it to use. So we have the table here on center, full booth. Um, I want to say, I want to say we have a record of 11 or 12 in here in the van between the swivel seat and everybody kind of gathering around here. This table does rotate, so you are kind of able to change the comforts if you work at home or work on the road what a better place to do it from um, you know and you have enough room here and if you do need to kind of slide out rotate around you have ease of access so we built this to have two storage units underneath each side of the beds as well as the garage storage unit um, and I'm gonna show you how these work so if we were to kind of run into a jam we had a, an electrical issue we would remove the table off the mount, give a little twist, and then what I'm going to start with is just sliding these cushions off to the side, remove them from the van if you need, however much space you need, but as you can see, pretty easy process, and now underneath you have more storage. There's also one on the other side, I'm going to show you this side just to kind of go through the whole process kind of show you guys we have it here with two straps so these are fully removable very easy system I place those here and now I can get a full top view of my electrical system and kind of work at it from a different angle and not feel like we're so cramped only working from the back uh, crawling in so now you have the ability for two people to kind of tackle the job as you guys can see the wiring system in there we kept everything very clean very organized um, you know just to make sure everything runs efficiently same setup on the other side so if you did have a water pump issue you could uh, assess it in the same fashion show you guys again these drop right back in there those go down bring these over and we're back um, if we were to say jump into nighttime mode and we're gonna go to bed the only thing we would do is we'd remove this cushion here, put it down in this area, and then the table itself, then just like a regular RV would, breaks down, sits fully right in place, slide a few cushions over, slide that one in. And now minus the blankets and the pillows and everything, we are ready. And then we wanted to show you just our last few sensors here. So right here we have our, our solar controller uh, showing us right now that we're getting about 16.4 amps of solar coming in. And right here we have our gray tank. We don't have a black tank and our fresh tank monitor system. Uh, so each tank has been set with monitors inside that will test the level of how much water is inside windowsill here for a few bedside things and then on both windows we have covers to block the sun out or keep the heat in. A few things that we've added don't mind the pillows they're kind of up here for the video um, we've added this pioneer touchscreen radio uh, came with the old school uh, you know two knob radio uh, 2014 Pro Master so we've integrated that we now have Apple CarPlay maps um, so it's been a cool upgrade, good system. We have our backup camera. This is a Prometo. Uh, it's mounted on the back towards the top. With this system, you have the ability to scroll up, scroll down to kind of see what you're backing on into. We have a few modes here on the screen. So that's the front mode. It's just getting blocked out by the uh, window protector there. And then this would be split screen mode. Um, or in reverse this camera does give you almost 180 degree radius of view behind you it's 160 degrees and it runs live full time so driving on the highway is very easy uh, between using the mirrors and using that to merge it's a simple process um, so the vehicle doesn't feel so long anymore um, that's probably one of the best things best features that we've added uh, very small but like I said just making sure that the homes kept safe and you know that we're able to get from point A to point B and get to camp uh, safe is the most important thing you can see we have it lifted today this is a bug wall bug net pretty heavy duty comes down on both sides with a center zipper 
uh, center magnet rather. So yep, we'll bring it outside. <laughs> zipper them down, as you can see the zipper on this side. And then, let's see if we can sneak the zipper on this side. Slide those down. Now you got a heavy duty magnet system. Just to kind of close them up. Come right out, lock it to the door if you want to keep it open. That's it for the walkthrough today, guys. Thank you for your time. Um, just to give you a little bit more background on our story, we left Maine, uh, New England area, about a year and a half ago. We've been traveling in our home. Uh, it took Kate and I about three and a half months to build this thing out from gut to finish. Um, it was an amazing project. A lot of the details that went into this van build were, you know, to make our lifestyle more convenient, but also just to show people a little bit of our taste and how we wanted to live out here. Um, it's held up very well. Um, I wouldn't really change anything, you know. The only thing we're trying to do is maybe upgrade to a little bit more space but it's hard to give this one away um, as you can see a lot of uh, time and labor went into this um, to get it to kind of where we wanted it to be it's held up great on the road we have about a year and a half on the road like I said we've traveled everywhere from Maine to California uh, and back a little bit of the East Coast a little bit of uh, you know Minnesota Montana those areas we've been to more hot springs than I can count um, and we've met a, a bunch of amazing people along the road who have also taught us you know about this lifestyle and, and what we're doing out here so we're hoping that you know somebody will take it along and kind of continue the next chapter of this van it's in great condition rides strong everything holds up well um, you know very rarely if ever does anything you know fall off the countertops or remove itself from the cabinets you wouldn't even know that you're driving uh, I guess what you'd call an RV on these on these washboard roads while we're driving has great turn radius um, it's been a blast it's been a blast I think it's just time for our next chapter so if it's time for you to start Start your new life and your new journey out here give us a call um, shoot us a message and touch base with us um, we'd love to kind of get the process started and uh, you know meet the next owners of this beautiful home so thank you